when a Christian prince he speak to a Muslim women and the Muslim women she say to him Jesus he plead with his mother boobs and then he said to her you are a filthy in fact it was your prophet to order Muslim women to give their boobs suckle me the cowards the son of Mutadi say Christian prince sexual predator asking a Christian as asking a, a young young girl young girl this she is a she is a whore she is in the age of your mother you you coward they made her a young they made her like a child have you ever heard of a child she say Jesus was a plain he did Jesus a lot a lot of things he was a plain with his mother boobs you caught their filthy prophet they accuse you they try to frame you you know they try to color you bully the bully Muhammad and the bully followers I was caught in your faith a prophet your son of Muta it's online this is not in a private I was saying to the women suckle me you donkey sexual predator I have thousands of people watching live and we have the video here suckle me why you get upset when I say it huh If you caught Jesus, you are trying to be a holy man. If you caught Muhammad, they accuse you to be a sexual predator. Even when they accuse you of wrong, the accusation is because you are quoting their filthy prophet. Can you believe it? And this is Aisha, the mother of the believers, she is practicing her boobs right. Anyone want to enter upon her room, he have to go by her sisters or her do or their daughters, and they have to suckle their boobs ten times. Hey, Muhammadan, when is my turn? Her voice is like a kid. Well, you are the kid, Rina. We have the video. Are you stupid? Do you want me to play the video? Do you want me to play the video? The video is there. How that is her voice is voice of a kid. You must be a mentor. You don't even know the voice of a kid from a voice of a woman. Stupid people. I guess you are the one who have a boy, who have a have a have a brain of a kid. Let us see if I still have the video on my computer, we can play it. But anyway, the video the video is there. People they can listen to it. I did format my computer. If you remember when we did not have any uh, but as I know I have the video here in the backup. I'm trying to find it. Let us see where it is. Well, if we could not find it here, we can search it online. <clears throat> Is that the link for the video, Riza? Is that the link? Or oh, this is a different one. Anyway, you can watch it. Actually, if you have the link, post it for me because I need to re-download the video again. So I can save it in my drive. So when a stupid one, he says something, 
we show them that they are really stupid, like this Rina. That is the link. Okay, go ahead. Give me a second. Um, it says something went wrong. So I think the link is not complete. Let me try to, co to copy it. I could not open it. Can you can you make it shareable? No, don't don't post the link as it is. Go to the video and the video it says share that will make it short. And for some reason is not coming for me all size so I can copy it. And when I click it doesn't work. Let me try the other one. It says the same. It says oops, something went wrong. Under the video, there's an option to click and share. Copy that, that will make it very short. Not the whole link. So anyway, when they cannot refute you, they try to frame you. It is the garbage. It is the bully religion. Okay, let's copy this link. All right, now it's working. If you want to eat health, uh, somebody you feel your best. Somebody having advertising in it. I need to wait for the advertising. This is not the video I'm looking for. I'm talking about the women who call me. What is wrong with people? So you made me click all this time, and you know this is about. Yeah, right, it's okay. Forget. I was talking about the girl who called me and I said to her, suckle me. I'm not talking about those things. Wake up, people. Anyway. Uh, I used to have it actually in the top of my download, but since I, you know, like formatted my computer last time, I can't find it no more. And let me see in the video. Oh no, where is the video here? I need to reset up my uh, my computer. Even video now is not showing in my screen. Uh, where is videos. I guess I need to go to settings so I can show the videos. Preference. Okay, hard disk, external DVD. Connect to server. Application. Tags. Sidebar. Okay, let us show the movie and music and pictures. Okay, maybe now we can't find it. Hold on. I know, it's not there. Yeah, I formatted my computer and now it is really... Like you see, I... Uh, this is what I have in the movie section. I have nothing. You know, I have only the, the file I downloaded uh, for uh, the program Ecamm. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one about the honey. All right. It's the same. It's the same. It's not working. I don't know why. Click at share and post the link. Don't post just a link from browser. Find the link of share. <coughs> enter. Enter. We find the solution for this is hard mission. Uh, do we have any Muslim?
and a Muslim. <clears throat> Who is a brave Muslim? He have the courage. He can call me and don't suckle me if you are a Muslim. We are quoting your prophet. <clears throat> we are not interested in your nipples. Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> it's the same, it's the same, nothing is working. Let me see if I can copy the link and repost. Okay, when we copy the link, looks like it's working. So this is the video of Tahani, and this is what Rina she said. It's a voice of a kid, and here you will see that. Look at the black stone for me. Oh, you want to to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you... this is a voice of a of a kid. You stupid. Is that a voice of a kid? Show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no. Show me, you, show me. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't kiss anything. Show me where, why, you why you're a prophet, you why you're a prophet, the pagan prophet, you why your pagan prophet kiss a stone. Your prophet no, is a pagan no, man. No, no, why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? You know, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia, I live in Africa. You know, you know where? So she is a kid who live in Arabia, he live in Africa, and now she is in America. But she is a kid, brother. She is Ibn Battuta, but she is a kid. She live everywhere, and this is obviously a kid. This is what you see in the stupid comment from st some stupid people. You know, you know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss, Why you're a prophet? Kiss the black stone. He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did, did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, did you, did you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you Muslims kiss. You Muslims kiss his stones, right? Why, why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You must why? be. Where is the idiot who said she have a voice of a kid? Is that how kids they talk? Boops. Jesus, he played with his mother boops. This is a kid. And what the coward they do, they cut the part of her saying, oh, Jesus, he did more, actually speaking like a whore. But what Jesus did, he played with his mother boops. And then the Muslim, they want to say, oh, our virgin sister, she called Christian Prince, he said to her, suckle me. You see, the, 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 the virgin sister, and they made a video, Christian Prince, the sexual predator. Brother, did you see what he said to her? Yeah. It is a stone, right? Why, why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed the stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse, actually, ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You must be okay. You see, you see, guys, you see, guys. Uh, somebody saying, a uh, guy doing. He's saying, put this black male behind you, my friend. Nobody can blackmail me. What are you talking about? I mean, people they say even more stupid comment is more uh, more stupid than the Muslim. They say, how you can blackmail me with this? You see, do you know what blackmail mean? Blackmail if you do something wrong. This is a live debate. She said, Jesus, he play with his mother boobs. I said to her, your prophet is the one who ordered you to give your boobs. So how in the world anyone can blackmail me? Gaydun. You see, guys, you see how, you see how savage they are? 
Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Look what she said. Like okay, okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he prayed Why with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that, that Jesus, he prayed. Listen, 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 listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you're, you, listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two, it's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I, Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? This is what the coward Mimi Hijab, he copied. Can I suckle you? And this is actually for our benefit. Why? Because that will prove that Muslims are not honest people. From their fruits, you shall know them. I never spoke about boobs. I never spoke about suckling. We were talking about kissing the black snow. And the video is there. What they do? They cut the video. Did you say that? Did he say that? Uh, yeah. But I'm quoting you, faithy prophet, son of Muta. So when somebody says black male, black male, if you do something wrong, like you know, you're afraid from it. Hey, my friend Gaidun, just just get take a hike. Don't come here again. This is what they want. No, this is not what they want. This is what I want. Don't you see that you are being stupid here? This is what they want. What they want? We're exposing them. You are being stupid again. This is for our this is this is a this is a prize test actually because now every Muslim can see that Muslims are not a trustworthy, they are liars. In fact, their sister was a whore. They claim that they believe in Jesus and insulting Jesus as against Islam, yet their whore sister is the one who accused Jesus of doing what? Playing with his mother boobs, and she said it in a very sneaky, evil way. Yeah, in fact, Jesus, he did many things actually. Like what? Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he blame. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he play with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Then. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle? Can I? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Listen, 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 listen. According to Islam, according to Islam, your boobs is lawful for me. Can I suckle you? Listen. As long as you are talking about boobs and you are a savage, low class person, why you are a prophet? Let let us read together. Let us read together. Sahla bin to Suhail. Sahla bin to Suhail. Let me let me let me mute. Let me let me mute you. You are you are so dumb. Listen, guys, look at this. Sahla bin to Suhail came to the messenger of Allah, and said, "I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa. When Salim enters upon me, the messenger he said, breastfeed him. She said, how I can breastfeed him and he is a growing man." <laughs> So why you don't want me to talk about it, Gaidun? You see, when you don't want to talk about it, that means you did something shameful. Did we do anything wrong, Gaidun? What's wrong with you? This is always for your benefit if you have a brain. They insult Jesus, so they lie when they say they believe in Jesus. She accused Jesus of molesting his mother. That means she is a whore, this woman because this is not even a talk of a normal woman. And the top of that, the Muslim, they use her voice and conversation with me to prove I'm bad. So why the stupid you, you think they are black in me? In me? <laughs> How you can do that? And actually, we encourage every one of you to download the video and share it. This is why me, myself, I'm the one who asks people to download the videos, all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> you see those stupid they went to my channel because I don't keep my videos on my channel right 
you know, I, de I delete my videos from time to time, like every week, you know, whatever I have videos, I leave only the last few, few ones. Or if someone, if a video, YouTube cannot have an excuse to delete it, I keep it. Uh, so they went to my page, they said, oh, the video is not there, so now he cannot, you know, he have no, no recording. Bingo, let us cut this part and play it. <laughs> Fear nobody, my friend. When you are right, you are right. And even all if all the words go against you and say you are wrong. The second you are worried about what people say, if I'm really worried about what people say, I will never even come here and say one word. Not even one. Uh, all right, do we have any question? Do we have any Muslim? Is it okay to say suckle me Muslims? Or oh, it's haram? I mean, this God, he even sent a chapter in the Quran about breastfeeding for adult. And who ate it? A goat. It's in the front of you. Muslims, when they try to frame you, you know, they first they 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 you know they see how much you can handle, you know, with the bully. Some some people they are weak. Some people they get stress. Uh, even some people they can even commit suicide if people start bullying them, right? But that will not go for someone like me. You see, when you do what you do, what I do, you have to have a very strong personality, strong character, strong mind. Otherwise, you cannot survive such a war. This is a war with the devil. And the devil will try to use everything in his tail to fight you. And the second you start feeling the pressure because of a bully and you really get stressed, that means you don't fit for the job. Like you see, uh, I don't like to talk about people, but like as an example, uh, uh, Apostate Prophet, he, you know, he make videos against Islam, but I, I can tell he don't take stress too much good. He's easy to stress out. And this is what they try to do with him. They try to bully him stress him because they felt there is a weakness in that point but doesn't mean he's a bad person you know this is this is you i mean there's people they can be stressed easy there's people they you know bully can work with them very very hard uh I don't understand the part of mahram. Mahram, mahram is somebody supposedly from your family is lawful for you to be with, like a husband, if you are a female, or uh, a husband or a brother or a father. There's someone, the husband, he can sleep with you, right? But because he is lawful, so it's okay to be with him. Uh, or a father who cannot sleep with you, so it's okay to be with him alone. Or a brother so you have always to have a guardian the word muhram actually you know the word haram so he is the one who prevents wrong things from happening to you because islam look at the women as a sexual object so if a woman she walk along on the street she is exposed to haram she is a vagina she is just a walking vagina uh, the hadith about Hercules is very simple. Muhammad, he sent a letter to, to the Roman and he said to them, convert to Islam, you will be safe, otherwise I will kill you. Very simple. Aslim to Aslim. There's no need to explain. I mean, even that one need explanation. Aslim to Aslim. 
You want to be safe from being killed by the terrorist? Aslim? Taslim. It's all over the, the teaching of Islam. All right? And this is what Muhammad, he sent to everybody around him. And this is the story you are talking about. He sent to the ruler of the Byzantine, saying to him, Aslim, you will become safe. It's in front of you. You become safe what? From my sword. So he sent him a threat. Convert or die. And if you convert, we will give you a reward. He was trying to tempt him with money. Isn't Muhammad, he says, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam? It's in front of you. He have a command to kill every living human being until they convert to Islam, until they pray. Not only you convert, you have to pray, you have to eat as they eat, you have to pay him money too. And then and only then, your blood and your property is safe. Always when you try to understand something about this garbage cult, you need to connect the dots. Religion or a belief, any belief, doesn't matter if it's good or bad. It's not just one line. But sometimes there's one line can explain all the other lines. So when Muhammad, he said, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. You see the Muslim, he says to fight. In Arabic is uqatil. Uqatil means fight to kill, not fight like by shoes or fight by debate or fighting by words. So I've been commanded to fight to kill. Mimi Hijab, he says, Yes, the Prophet been ordered to command to fight and kill all the people, and but but that not including the Muslim because already they are Muslims. The video is there. Uh, and this is the fastest way to make people you know follow you. Tafsir al Qurtubi that they teach women. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. But if you have the reference, why you want me to ask me to, to give you the reference? I mean, already you posted the reference. <laughs> and this is exists in many uh, books, actually, not only one book. Uh, Let us see if we can find it in the, this English website first. We can't find it here. All right. This is exists in the books of Sunni and Shia. I'm trying to open a Muslim website, it's taking forever to open.
for some reason, what come in front of me is just uh, Shia books. Okay, let's see. Here we go. And this is a Shia too. Why we are we getting lucky with the Shia now? Oh, that. We are just uh, trying to find the Sunni website. Maybe I have no choice but to show what we see have for now. Uh, let us see. Let us go to this website. Well, I found it just in in uh, in, uh, in Arabic. I cannot find it in English. This is Sunni now. Uh, this is the book of Al Azim Abadi, and this is the number of the Hadith. And this is here uh, Ibn Habban, and this is the number of the Hadith. And this is here At Tabarani, uh, page number three sixty. Uh, and this is Al Qisarani, and this is Ibn Jawzi and this is etc but the muslim they will say to you it is daif you know just to tell you the excuse right away the hadith says that uh, the women uh, don't uh, aisha she said don't let women stay in houses because they are bedouin and don't uh, teach them how to write how to read just teach them how to swine uh, you know for clothing and teach them the chapter of an nur in the Quran, and that's it. This is all what they need. Here, actually, here, this is a Sahih, which is usually, I mean, weird to say to the, you know, like uh, when the Muslim they say Da'if, you know, you will see the Muslim say it is Sahih. Let me see if I can find. Uh, it's not opening. I click on it. It's not opening. Okay, let's try this. If we try here to click, it's not opening. Okay, that will take us maybe to the book. Yeah, this is not what we want. Yeah, this is take us to the whole book. No, we don't want that. This is actually a very good website, but we can use Google Translation here. Let's use Google. So I, as she said, let us zoom in. In the book of Mustadrak on the two Sahih. So this is a Sahih Hadith. Uh, do not place them in the rooms and do not teach them how to write, how to read, uh, to write, meaning the women, and teach them uh, how to make a clothing, and the chapter of An-Nur. That's what it says. Let me post the link for you, and I will make it short. Let us shorten the link so you can find it. Link shorten. And this is the link. 
And sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. If you said something to me, I was just trying to copy and share. Anything else? The admin Lisa, she is posting, if you are wondering how to support Christian Prince, will you ask them to support, not to support, they will not support anyway. Most of people, they come here just to laugh and, you know, they don't care really. And because we make everything available for everybody, you know, people, they are, you know, they don't care. We give our books for free, our time for free, we stay here for many hours. And even we ask them to join Patreon, feel free, don't donate, still they don't do it. So don't waste your time. You are talking to the deaf. Uh, how Islam bring progress to its women and men? Well, you know, if you want to know if Islam is successful, go and see how Muslim they live. And then you will see if Islam is a successful society. You know, when Muhammad, he says, the man, he can lie to his wife, and the wife, she can lie to her husband. So what is the point of wife and husband? If the man, he can lie to his wife, the wife, she can lie to her husband. What is the point of a marriage? What marriage mean for Muslims? To lie to each other? If I cannot even trust my wife and you cannot trust your husband, what is the point of this religion? And how that will fix society? How a man, his name is Muhammad, he is a prophet of Allah. Saying that man, I, I don't consider man lying to his wife is a lie. How that will help any family or society. I understand when he said like you can lie in the wartime, no problem. But lying to your wife and wife lying to her husband and lying to your friends. When Muhammad he says lie in war for war is as a is a is a deception. So when you lie to your wife, is that because you want to deceive her? When the wife, she lied to her husband. Is that to deceive her? Or to deceive him? And here you see that, you know, Christianity and Islam, they don't match in anything. Even the Muslim, they use some names, which is, we are familiar with, like Moses and uh, even Jesus' name is wrong. Mary, Abraham, but it doesn't match in anything. If any Muslim want to like prove us wrong, by the way, feel free. You see how many hours I'm here? The same as yesterday. Still no Muslim there ready to refute us. If you see this hadith as an example here. Let me show you this one. A Muslim man should not accept, lie except in three cases. A man lying to his friends, a man lying to, in war, a man speaking to his wife, and a wife speaking to her husband. Uh, Alexander, thank you for the suggesting about affiliate link. I don't want to, I don't do here commercial business. You see, most of my books, I give them for free. And we expect that people willingly, they are they think they have a brain. You know, if somebody want to help, you do not need to ask if you should help or not. So if people like to help, they will help. I know that some people, they say we will post videos only for those who subscribe in Patreon. I don't do that. All my videos is open for everybody. The one who donate and the one who don't donate. Why? 
Because what if somebody is poor and he can't afford it and this is the majority? That will make it a business, you know, if you do that, that make what you do a business, not a mission. I do everything for free and those who care to support, they can support if they are, you know, if they want. We are not going to keep asking people to support us because they knew. Which one is more noble, Kaaba or Muhammad Tomp? Uh, the bent you are talking to who? You know, no Muslim they claim. And the funny is, Muhammad, he said that Allah, he cursed the Christians because he they made the, 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 the tombs of their ancestors or prophets a place of worship. But that's what the Muslim did. This is what the Muslim now they have. They have a big mosque in the top of the tomb of their prophet. <laughs> we teach the poor doesn't matter poor Muslim poor Christians you know for me my priority first is the Christians for sure but uh, Muslims and non-Muslims are you know they are our target in our mission because we want to save everybody did you ask yourself why I give my books for free if you think I'm a billionaire I'm not Salman Rushdie is a sir Salman Rushdie, he have a sari from the queen, he have a sari, he is a sir, you know. I have nothing. I don't even have a health insurance. Health insurance, I don't have. I don't have anything. So, yet I give my books for free because what I care for is, what is more important, making money or giving my book to 200 million Indonesian, the biggest Islamic country in the world. Given my book in Chinese, one billion something Chinese in the one around the world they speak Chinese, in for, for free. Uh, my book in Russian, my book in uh, uh, you know Croatian, Albanian, you name it. So, if you care for money, then you will not give a single copy for free. Right. Everybody need money. It's not a secret. But this is not why we are here. I can say, well, okay, yesterday I was here. For how many hours yesterday, guys? How many hours yesterday I was live? Five hours at night. Or after or the time we started? Noon time, I think. And five hours, just then eight hours before. Right? Then today, what? How many hours now? So... You know, you see always, I go live on air. I go off air. I did not even mention the word donation. Go check all my videos. I go live. I go off. I don't even speak about it. And, you know, people who, uh, you know, without saying names, they make a video for 15 minutes and they ask people to make donation. 15 minutes. I stay hours after hours after hours and I don't really care if people, they will make donation or not. I will keep doing this and nothing will change. But if you go to Patreon, you will see that most of people, they register there. They would like a $1 because it's a master from Patreon, but they will not collect it because it's not worth it. Uh, I understand people, they are trying just to get notification and I invite them to do that. But the majority, like you see 1,000 there, 1,000 subscriber, um, they are not donators. Those are just, uh, you know, they want to get updated notification. But anyway, you know, the Lord is our provider. And this is why, you know, you when you start worrying about things, worry will eat you, you know. You will become a victim of your own worry. Always the Lord He provide. Uh, any question?
You're welcome, my friend. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. Um, you know, we take death a threat. Uh, Muslims, they bully me. They made hundreds of videos against me. But those things, they don't make me weaker. They make me stronger. That is showing you. Actually, they are the one who help me to bring more people out of Islam. Muslims, they don't know who you are. So they hear about you from Muslim page. A Muslim is angry. Christian Prince is a liar. He is quoting CP. It doesn't say that CP. This hadith is weak. Uh, here we go. And now every Muslim who heard this video, he will wonder, okay, well, what, why those Muslim, they claim they can refute this guy. Why they don't allow them, him to call them? Neither dare to call him. All the Muhammadan, they are willing to debate me only face to face, which they knew I don't do that. For many reasons, you know, I'm not seeking uh, to be famous, uh, you know, uh, cameras and videos. I don't care. If I'm a person who cares for that, I will open my camera and, you know, I will say, oh, hey, see me. Uh, we are here to debate, not to do fashion show. Additional to that, we know that Islamic words is a very, very terrorism mindset. And if they can silence you, they would love to do so, you know. But this is not really my reason. I fear no, I fear nobody. Uh, I'm a believer and I believe, you know, if, if ever something happened to me, uh, I would be honored to be uh, die as a martyr to the Lord. I mean, I'm not better than the disciple or even my Lord. So, uh, but... If I can do what I can do without, like now, I'm sitting wearing my short, having my coffee. If I have a camera, I have to change everything around me. People, they will say, look what he is wearing. You know, look at his beard. Uh, look how ugly he is, you know. <laughs> I'm here to exactly to expose their lies. I'm not here to do a movie. What is the use of a Muslim going to Hajj? It's just a way to make money. You see, uh, uh, when Muhammad, he ordered the disbelievers, not, they cannot enter Mecca. Then the Muslim, they felt the, the effect of that. Imagine you say only, only Muslim can to go to Las Vegas. And the Muslim at that time, they were little number. So who is going to play in the casino? The few will not support the business. So the Hajj was always a place of making money. So there was 16 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula. And the Kaaba in Quraysh was one, in Mecca was one of them. Kaaba simply is a practice the Arab used to have, and not only Arab, even other, other uh, nations, to attract businesses, travelers, so you come to the Hajj. Hajj is not something new. It's not Islam who made Hajj. Hajj is exist before Muhammad. Muhammad, he just carry on with the same pagan practice. So they used to do Hajj before Islam. They used to go around the Kaaba. They used to touch the black stone. They used to, you know, worship stones. And they used even to go naked around the Kaaba, totally naked. Uh, but this is not only the people of Quraysh or Mecca. It was many places in the Arabian Peninsula. And Mecca is a counterfeit of the temple of al makkah in Yemen. If you search for temple of al makkah you know, the funny is that the, the temple of al makkah uh, I remember a long, long time ago, I said the temple of the al Makkah is, uh, is a temple for the moon god. Uh, somebody sent me a, a long article made by a scientist saying it is the temple of uh, the sun. You know? And he sent me another uh, article. It is the temple of the sun. And I insist that this is the temple of al Makkah. It is the temple of the moon for a very simple reason. The Sabian, they are the one who built that temple, and that temple belonged to them. 
and this is the moon god religion and lately they discover that yes the temple of al makkah is the temple of the moon god they thought for a long time it is the temple of uh, uh, the sun you know but it's not uh, the Sabian, the Sabian, which Muhammad he he, he promised the Sabian to be uh, to be in heaven, you know. Uh, the Sabian is the one who is behind the Temple of Al Makkah. Actually, even the Sabian, you know, Sabian their religion was the biggest ever in the Middle East before uh, Christianity, to the point even the Pharaoh. And the Egyptian, the the Sabian at least they believe that the Pharaoh he was a Sabian, he was one of them. That's why if you go to the books of the uh, uh, the Sabian, you will see that they insult the God of the Jews Adonai. The reason they insult Adonai, uh, because he is the one who killed their great man, the Pharaoh. So they believe in the story, which has happened to Moses. Or they've been witnessing that story in the time of Moses but because the God of Moses is the one who killed the Pharaoh who is one of them then he is the enemy uh, you can go and search for the God of the Mecca this is actually Mecca I think it's coming as a copy from uh, the, the original name uh, Mecca is a counterfeit of this temple this is a huge temple. This is not just like a Kaaba, a little tiny room, you know. This is a very big, uh, you know, building. No, no, not much left of it. But it used to be something really huge and really big. So the temple of al Makkah, uh, in the ancient uh, uh, ruin of Yemen, uh, if you go actually, let me show you. If we go right now to the Kaaba, In the Kaaba, there is the black stone, as we showed you before. And there is a Yemeni corner. Yemeni corner. This Yemeni corner has a stones from that temple. From that temple. So what, what the Arab are trying to do, let me make it more clear. If you look with me, you will notice that those rocks, they don't match. I mean, there's different rocks from different places. They are not coming from one place. And they look different from the rest of the stones. And the Muslim, they open the skirt of the Kaaba. The skirt, by the way, is a pagan practice for the Kaaba is a, have a vagina, the black stone. So they put a skirt on her, you know, to cover her. So uh, uh, the Yemeni corner, the Muslim, they have to touch it in order and to touch the black stone in order to get their sin erased. Now, if you ask your a Muslim why it's called the Yemeni corner, they say because it's facing Yemen. This, no, this is a false reason, because those stones are taken from the Yemen temple. So it's like, you know, uh, some Christian, they bring uh, the bones of a saint from a place to a different place, a church. And supposedly that will make this church uh, more, uh, you know, have a more value, which is not really right. Uh, so they brought those stones from the Mecca, from the from the original Kaaba, which is the temple of the Sabian in, in Yemen, and they place it in their Kaaba. So now why you want to go all the way to touch the stones? Here we go, we brought you stones. The stones are here. So instead of flying, I mean, at that time they have to take a camel, you know. You take a camel all the way to Yemen, will take you maybe a month to go there. And now we have it here in town. So you want to touch the stone? You want to get the blessing? The stone is here. And this is why Muhammad, he said, that the one who touched the Yemeni corner and the black stone, if you touch, if you do that, it erases your sin. Uh, let us find the hadith. Yeah, 
Here we go. The companions of, of the Prophet of Islam, the false prophet, one of them, he asked the other one, he says, O oh, Abu Abdul Rahman, why I do only see you touching uh, uh, those two corners? What corners are we talking about? The Yemeni corner, the one we told you have the stones from Al Makkah temple, and the black stone corner. He said, I heard the message of Allah saying, Touching them erase sins. And I had seen I had him say, Whoever go around them seven times, it is like freeing a slave. So Muhammad, the Arab, they used to free slaves when they commit sin. Muhammad, he didn't want them to free slaves. He wanted them to buy more slaves. So they don't free slaves, just go around the Kaaba seven times, and that's it. A Muslim, his name is Abdullah Marzuq, saying, A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. And here you see another funny things from Muslims. They seek refuge from shaytan to Allah. But don't you know that Allah is shaytan? Because what is the difference between Allah and shaytan? Nothing. Here we go. He just made you, he, he made you, he converted you to a religion, make you believe that the stones are a sin. Touching the stones, erase your sin. It's not me who said that, it's your prophet. If you want to say to me, this is Daif, this is not Daif. Play a different game. And by the way, even Daif is accepted. Do you see it? A Muslim, he think he believe in God, yet he believe in stones. And he believes stones erase sin. And touching them will erase your sin. You tell me how that works. In the same time, the same Muslim, the same smart Muslim, believe that Allah made him sin. Right? I mean, even the word sin in Islam does not make sense because Allah is the one who makes people sin. The Muslim believe in destiny. Everything you do, Anything you do, even fornication, it is not your decision. It was made by Allah before he created you. So what is sin? Any Muhammadan? What is sin in Islam when you are just a victim of destiny? The second you believe that everything is a destiny, that means the idea of sin is a stupid idea. Because they don't work together. You see, like in Christianity, we have a, a belief in destiny, but the destiny we believe in, that God, he made, uh, like I say, he gave us a limit. That is a destiny. As an example, you don't live forever, you would die. That is a destiny, everybody will die. But God did not cause you to commit sin, so you will die. No. God said to Adam, don't eat from this tree. If you eat from it, you will die. See the difference? In Islam, we just showed you today, this is our topic today actually, that Adam himself, he committed sin because Allah, he made him commit sin. Adam and Moses, they have an argument and Adam won the argument by saying, are you blaming me for an act which written in my fate as a decree, which I should do 40 years before my creation? So here we see that the idea of sin in Islam is a stupid idea and Muslims they should quit using the word sin because it is not you who did sin, it was Allah. Any Muslim have um, something op opposing this? Any Muhammadan, he is not agreeing, he want to prove me wrong? Why Muslim they use the word sin? I don't know. I mean, how 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 even you commit sin if everything is decision made by Allah before He created you? When a Muslim he, he commit adultery, 
Did he really commit adultery? The Quran say no. no Muhammad he say no. Do you see it? Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, which he of necessity must commit. Ah, Barak, ya Marzoog. Ah. Marzoog al-Shakhaq. من شخ يشخ شخخاخنا قرآنا. So when you commit adultery, you don't make a decision to commit adultery. Allah He made that for you, and you have to do it. Any Abdul? Any smart Abdul? Who is a Muslim Abdul would like to call me? Huh? Who is Abdul would like to call me and Allah will reward him? Let me open my Skype. Maybe we can get lucky. You never know. Things can happen sometime. Okay, we are logging into Skype. We have a guy, his name is Bashir Hamza. Uh, he's just uh, not, uh, maybe I don't know who's he. Uh, let us see this uh, Muslim here. I don't know who's he. Somebody give Marzouk my Skype so he can call me. We are calling this Muslim. I don't know, he's not answering. Okay, maybe he is not online. Hey, Marzouk, call me. By the way, if you are from Indonesia, Pakistan, anything, and you have a sheikh, he claimed that he can debate us or answer us. We welcome them to join us. And even if they don't speak English, we can debate in Arabic. Because remember, Sheikh, he speaks Arabic. Now, I'm assuming that the Sheikhs are not like Uthman, the false Sheikh who do not know how to read Arabic, how to speak Arabic. We are assuming that he is a real Sheikh. Right? So, any Muslim? My Skype is open. Until now, I don't see. I mean, my, my Skype is dead. Uh, yeah, he's saying he is at work now. He cannot talk. Okay, no problem. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us and tell us something good about his prophet? May they, may they, may they. Anyone? Marzouk, Sheikh Barak, Shrayakewal, Mantallaka Imra'atahu, 
لن تعود له حتى تنكح ذوزا زديدا يا هذا شخبارك أنت تحاول أن تتصل بي كيف تتصل بي هذا هل 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 دققت على الرقم المطلوب مرزوق is trying to call me but we heard nothing مرزوق اه اتصل يا مرزوق قال له يا مرزوق لو لبسوك المضرطة من وين اتشا قال له هي من الخناقة سو مرزوق كم كم بدي Anyone have a question? Any Muslim? We can take calls from Christians if somebody have a question. Yeah, obviously Marzouk doesn't speak Arabic. He is using Google translation. Well, thanks to Google, he is better than the Prophet of Allah. He speaks all languages. Muhammad, even his own language, he cannot even write his name, according to Muslims. This is one of the funny things about Islam, that there is a guy, according to Muslim, he doesn't know Arabic. He cannot write his name. And he become a teacher in the university, and he is the dean of the university. So imagine the Muslim, the open university today. Who is the dean of the university? Prophet Muhammad. What is his qualification? He did not know how to read, how to write. And that explains all the stupidity we see in the Quran. You know, literally. Yeah, somebody is a Christian. Let us see. <clears throat> Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. I'm fine. I phoned that that guy Hamza then, but he keeps uh, hanging up on me. He asked me, uh, you know that guy Hamza, right? That that, that idiot. Yeah. You know guy? I don't know, but there's many Hamza anyway. Uh, sorry. Okay. Anyways, I phoned him, and they always uh, he likes to talk to like ignorant Christians, right? So I'm like, I'll I'll give this guy. I'm like, if I listen to Sam Shimon and Christian Prince, I'm like, I have to be worth something. So. I call these guys, and he's and he tries to trap me. He's like, "What?" He's like, "You believe in the the Trinity?" What? He's trying to get me to talk about the Trinity, and I'm mm. like, "Yeah, I believe in the Trinity. I believe in Allah, Messiah, and uh, Mary. Did I get it right or wrong?" So he's trying to convince me that uh, the Quran doesn't teach that Allah, Messiah, and and Mary are are three in one. Is that what's the tafsir on that? What like what what is the actual teaching? No, actually, the Quran says that clearly. What tafsir? I mean, even the Quran says that. Uh, 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 the Quran says, uh, Allah, he said to the Messiah, did you tell your people to worship me and my mother? Correct? That, that's the one I pulled up. Uh, okay, so there's no need to tell us here, you know, why Allah is asking Jesus, did you tell your people to worship me and my mother? And then if he denied that the Quran is saying so, read the verse and then give us what is the Trinity in Islam then? Yeah, he, this guy, what he... I phone him twice. He keeps hanging up on me. What he likes to do is he likes to talk to to Christians that that don't that do, that don't quote any any hadith that don't quote any Quran. So, so yeah, I I kept trying to nowadays when they ask me what the Trinity is, I always I always go back to go back to the Quran. But I just I wanted to make sure that because I know there's another verse that says say not three, but I, I wanted to because I I don't want to lie about Islam, right? I, I just wanted to make sure that if if in Muhammad's head that he thought they believed they were they were all, all those three were together you know like like Allah Messiah and uh, and Mary well the think. Quran is not a book make anything clear by itself like as an example if you ask a Muslim if he's asking you for something clear tell him if there's anything clear in the Quran as an example where is in the Quran it says that uh, Gabriel is uh, the Holy Spirit nowhere mm -hmm. you know 
ask him yeah. where in the Quran it says who is uh, Israel who is Israel nowhere in the Quran it says so how we will know but if you go in the Quran in chapter 5 verse 116 it's so clear verse it says that Allah he said to 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 uh, uh, Isa did you say take me and my mother as deities beside Allah that's his, I mean how clear we can make it more than this this is what Allah he think the Christian believe yeah, you know what his response was? He says, uh, "I be, because he uh, because he controls the conversation. He he said one side is is for the Protestants and the other side Mary is for the Catholics. But I totally forgot to tell him. I'm like, there's no Protestants back in Muhammad's time. What are you talking about? He's he a, said he said he is stupid. Yeah. Same time, the Catholic don't believe that Mary she is part of the Trinity. The Catholic is the same as the Protestant, believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So he is being stupid again." I know, right? Yeah, and if Allah He is refuting someone is not exist, that's mean Allah is more stupid because nobody believe in such a belief. Same time, what is the Trinity? You should ask him. Where is the Trinity in the Quran? What is the Trinity in the Quran? Show us the verses. Here we go. This verse says, "Did you worship me and my mother?" So now we learn that the Quran is trying to refute the Christians at that time, saying that Jesus is not God. Mary is not God, and the verse actually is shown as the Trinity. Look with me. Did you see the screen? Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Does it say beside Allah? Yes. Oh, you say, you say to the people, take me and my mother as DCs besides. Oh, be. I I read it like uh like not including like besides Allah means together, right? Beside Allah, no, it's mean additional to Allah. Additional. Yeah, like but, you know, like beside, you know, put them to beside, beside each other. Okay, mm -hmm. like together. Like yeah, they're, yeah, they're together, together. You are right. Okay. So, okay, sorry, what is yeah. the what is the first deity in this verse? Jesus and his mother. Right. Take me. This is the word me. Take me. This is goes for Jesus, correct? Yeah. So this is number one in the Trinity according to the Quran. Let me switch to Arabic to English. So this is number one. Me is Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah Who is number two? My mother. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. yeah. And now, I, beside I, who? Beside Allah. This is number three. So the, 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 the Arabic, sorry, the, the, the Arabic, besides, what is it? What, does it mean together, like in, in, in Arabic? The besides, in Arabic, it says stay the same. In instead, you know, in Arabic, it says instead of Allah, you know, min uh, dunillah, right? But this is what it's meant. Jesus, Mary, and Allah is what the Christian believe. But we Christian, we don't believe in Allah anyway. Same time, Muhammad, because he's a fool, in different verse in the Quran, he said, uh, the Christian, they, they say that the Messiah is Allah. Yeah. Now, if we say that the Messiah is Allah, so who is the first one? Who is the second one? Who is the, who is the third one? <laughs> what I, what I asked him, I'm like, since it says deity, deity means full out God, right? I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm like, do, I'm like, do the okay, the Catholic. He's trying to blame it on the Catholics. I'm like, do the Catholics believe she's the first, second, or third person as a deity? And he just kept changing the subject. So I, I, I felt, you know, yeah, I, this I, is I, this guy is just a kid, you know. Those are kids; they can't do whatever. This is why nobody count them anyway. I mean, who is who is even the, listen to him? How many people go in his stream? He has. Uh... He has sixty thousand subscribers. Uh, I don't know how many. Yeah, but how many go in the life? Maybe fifty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's not as popular as you. You, you. Like sometimes you have. Uh, I think one time I seen you like three thousand. Like once. Hmm. Like you, you have. You have quite a bit. Yeah. So here it uh, says that the Christian they say, Allah is the Messiah. So uh, if the Christian believe that Allah is the Messiah, that's mean. Allah. Yeah. We have I to see. eliminate one person, right? Because yeah, now right. Allah Himself is the Messiah, so the Messiah and Allah is one. Okay, who is the second person now? Who is the third person? <laughs> uh, you know, I should have, uh, you know, like we have a job to do, we have to study and read. You're yeah. right. I, I, yeah, add, we have a... add to that, no Christian believe. Let's say that Muhammad here, he meant that the Messiah, they say, uh, uh, the Christian, they say the Messiah is God the Father. But we Christian, we don't believe in that. Exactly. We don't believe. Uh, we believe that the Messiah is a person. God the Father is a person. The Holy Spirit is a person. One God. So when when Muhammad he said that actually he just defeated his own claim that the Christian believe in three because if they believe that the Messiah is Allah that means they believe in just one person. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right.
So Muhammad again is being a fool. Number three, if if the Muslim, why they believe that Allah is not a three? Because the Quran says so. If Quran says he is a three, they will believe. We know the story, correct? Uh -huh, yeah, exactly. When, when, when Allah, he say he have a shin, why the Muslim don't ask themselves, okay, Allah is one God. Is he a one shin? Is he a shin God? Nobody question. Allah have two hands. The Quran says so. Okay, Allah is one God with two hands. Why he have two hands if he is one God? Do they do they what? say it's a metaphor? They, no, it's not a metaphor. And the Quran says clearly he made Adam by his two hands. You know, uh, okay. he created Adam by his two hands. And even Muhammad he claimed that the the the, the hands of Allah, both of them, they are right hands. So. The, the Muslim they question the Trinity because they try to avoid you asking questions which is embarrassment so can you debate us about the Trinity there's no need to debate about Trinity because very simple God is almighty and it's not you who tell God what he can be and what he cannot when the God of exactly. the Muslim he said to them I am one they don't question what one mean because one is wrong you see one the word uh, the Muslim they show, they show you the verse in the Quran says Qul huwa Allahu ahad. ahad does not mean one it means one off uh -huh. so he is, using, he is using the wrong word Qul huwa Allahu ahad. then Allahu samad as samad means the collector this is why in the Aramaic language even the Arabic if you go to Iraq and those territories they say Masmuda Masmuda is simply a little tiny container have a hole in it where you can put coins so collector, you know, so God, Allah is a collector of gods. He is collection of gods. And when the Muslim, even when they speak about their God, what they say in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the right? Three names. Okay. Yeah. Allah is one God. Why he have all those names? They will say to you, those are attribute. Okay. Is each one of those attribute by itself is God? Uh that will make them even go deeper and they swim in the mud. Add to all of this, if Allah is God, why in the Quran he said, and he is one, if we would like to take a partner, we will take the partner from ourself. And the partner here is a female wife. So how he is one, yet he will take the partner from us. Do they the tafsir on this one is it are they unsure for that one the verse clear chapter 21 verse number 17 and even tafsir says allah is saying if you want to take a partner he mean taking the virgin hori or the angels but that means that allah is one of them because you see when you say us right us it means put they join them together us mean us you know you don't say us you mean cars right uh, if i ask you who is with you who, is, who was there you say us you mean maybe us. your family you know cousins right so yeah. when you say us you are talking about a group from your kind you don't mean cat and donkeys right from, uh, so, for sure, yeah. so <laughs> us obviously whoever that us is not one and here this God is speaking about taking a partner correct a wife specifically so he can have a son so if we want to take a partner, we will take from us. If you go to the interpretation, it says, Allah, he meant the black eyed whores or the angels. But that means Allah is either a human like the black eyed whore or the black eyed whore are not a human. They are uh, God is like Allah, you know? Yeah. yeah. And the angels. And if the angels are us, that means Allah is one of the angels. Exactly. So, so okay. when the Muslim they try to fix this problem, they you know they get dig more and they make it a whole bigger. Mm -hmm. you know? I just have a, no, that was good. Thank you. I I just have you, uh, a couple of weeks ago you you mentioned something and it it made me think. It made me think. Is, is this about, guy is this guy Hamza is online now? He goes online at night and I I do. I can okay, share. I want you to do me a favor. Next time yeah. he go online, if I am live on air. Call me and call him. Okay. It's just uh, what they're going to do for you, though. He'll he'll talk a little bit like uh, he'll run his mouth and he'll, he, then he'll hang up. My and friend, edit, don't edit worry videos. about it. He can run his mouth and we will die laughing. Okay, no problem. <laughs> he, he goes on at night. But I, don't I like tell him, him. Don't tell him. 
that a Christian prince when I talk to you, otherwise he will never take the call. So you call him, he will see that you are the one who is speaking, you know, and okay. then you add me, you send me invitation to join the call. You know, I'm going to do that. And but he... after you call, don't, don't ask me to join before because he will see it. After, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll call him and I'll just... And I'll then just let him mute phone. me. If he mute me, he don't want to hear me. People will laugh. That's me. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's running away. But I'll, I'll tell you right now because I phoned him <laughs> twice. Because uh, he, he's, I, I can tell right away he's scared of the Quran. He's scared of the Hadith. So he, he, 99% of the conversation, he goes to, you know which verse he goes to? He goes to uh, the, the one in John where he says, you are, the father is the only... The Father is the only true God. He j that's the only verse he knows. He doesn't know anything else. So this well, he guy, just said the Father. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I, I read a lot of uh, commentaries on that. If you let me speak, I, you know what I did? I told him to pull it up. I'm like, pull it up. I'm gonna make a clown out of you. And then he hungs up on me. He's like, I'm not pulling it up for you. I gave him an opportunity to embarrass me. I'm like, I'm like, embarrass me. Put it up on the screen. He says, I'm not pulling it up on the screen. And then he kicks me out. So, I'll, if if he's online, we'll see what we. Well, we'll next time we you, you next time you call him. And then after you call, you tell him, I just invited the Christian prince to join the conversation. If you mute mute, mute us yeah. or hang up on us, that's mean you are a coward. 100%. And you are running away. Otherwise, let us have a debate. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And 100%. Let, people, let people laugh. Either laugh at him or laugh at me. Because Christian Prince, the the, the Christians, he, he lets speak for hours and hours. Honestly, honestly, I'm not joking. I don't think they read one page of the Bible. Like not one page. Yeah, that's why they would talk to them if they knew that, you see, the Muslims. It's the same as somebody, uh, you know, he's doing a scam. You go to an old person, he do not know what, what are you speaking. Maybe the, even, uh, he, you know, like uh, in the other day, uh, a, a person, he come and knock at my door. He says, I want to install a solar system for you. If you sign a contract, you pay nothing. You know, he made, he made he made it like a honeymoon, you know. So you, you pay nothing for, uh, you know. And uh, uh, he, uh, I said to him, uh, what do you mean I pay nothing? Do I pay or pay nothing? He says you will pay only $175 every month. But you pay for nothing. I said, for how many years? He said, for the coming 30 years. Oh, man. I said, I just pay, paid for enough money to buy a house. You scammer, exactly. you know? And look exactly. what they would do. Those people, what they would do, they will make you sign such a contract and then they will put a lien in your house because now they own in your property, they own a property. Oh, man. So if you try to even to sell your house, you can't even say it. You go to sell it, they will find, they will find that they have a lien because you sign a contract. Yeah, because yeah. now they install a physical property in your property and you own the money. So now, if something happens in the future, you want to sell your house, you have to pay them a lot of money to let it go. <laughs> it's a scam. Huh. So, you yeah. know, and I said to him, uh, by the way, I have a degree in law. He said, okay, well, nice talking to you. And uh, I have to go. I said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. How many people you did lie to them today? And you told them you don't pay anything. He said, I'm not lying, sir. This is what it says here. You pay nothing. I said, you just told me I have to sign a contract to pay a, 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 a lot of money every month for the coming 30 years. How much the solar system will cost? 10,000s? The system, the whole thing. 15,000s? Yeah. So they fool poor people, you know. They make them sign. And you know, the law does not protect the fool. And this is the same as the Muslims. If you are a fool, they fight over to debate you. If you are a person who have answers, they will not even let you go through. Hundred percent. Like the Dean show, you know, if you have a if you are a Christian, you have a question, call us. I call them. the the the, the recording is in YouTube. Uh, they did not let me go. You know, I called the first time, second time. They knew my voice right away. Oh you know? yeah. They don't let me go, but they are speaking in the TV that they take calls. And by the way, we never heard a call like the caller he called. There's no call. It's a, it's a fraud. So, hello? Yes. Aha, aha, aha. But you don't hear the other person, you know, the one who's calling. Ah, oh, yeah. you are a Christian. Uh, okay. You want to know why in Islam is teaching to violence against Christians? Oh, okay. So, the, the questions is made up by them because this is the topic they want to go with. There's no callers. The guy is answering cell phone, which did not, did not even ring. You know exactly yeah, so there it's a, it is a fraud and this is the same this guy if he is really a man i will call him hmm? exactly i will call him you can you know they, they claim that i if i call them they will mute me you can mute me you know yourself go mute me 
So let everybody see the one who have the truth. The truth will set him free. The word of our Lord. But uh -huh. they are they are coward. They are black stone kissers. They claim that they have God, and they claim that because they believe in one God, that will make them superior. Well, your God is an idiot God who thinks the sun set in murky water and muddy water in spring of water. The sun have a rising place, setting place. The sun, uh, 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 you know, is, is where uh, Zulkarnain, he found it. And he found the people of Gog and Magog. And he built a dam. And the dam is so, so big to the point nobody can find it after 1400 years and by the way not 1400 years after a thousand of years because this is go back to the time of Zul Zulkarnain <laughs> so so uh, you know they try to avoid any topic which is an embarrassment for yeah. Islam is an embarrassment and right away they start to go to talk about the Trinity Trinity is very simple God is a tree you like it or not this is what we believe don't exactly. tell me logic don't tell me logic it's not logical too to say that God is one and he is, uh, you know, the only God, yet he say he is the best of the creators. Uh -huh. exactly. Because how he is the only one, and yet he is the best of the creators. If he say he is it's, talking about it, creating a bicycle, that means Allah is saying, I am the best who create bicycle too. Yeah. <laughs> and well, that easy creation he's, he's not talking about universe creation he's talking about i'm, I'm the best at creating easy stuff <laughs> yeah i mean what not, not, so not, so so if, even when they try to come with the, their own logic their logic is so stupid and they will get will get the god of islam under the shoes because how you say to me don't you create bicycles so are you saying when allah he said i am the best of the creators he is comparing himself to the one who made a bicycle when the verse yes. is the verses speak about what the verses speak about making a baby so how that how this will have to do with the bicycle thing creation everybody knows the creation god oh, yeah. he is the one who create things out of nothing this is what the creation anything else you know is not really creation i made a bicycle out of material which i have but i cannot create the material and i cannot give life this is the most this is the essence of creation giving life so when you show them those verses they try to hide behind the wall and suddenly the creator here is talking about creating a car creating computer and that will make even islam more funny and allah more funny because he is saying he is the best who create a car but yet yeah. allah never but allah never made the one car exactly you know yeah i think I, th I think maybe you said this, but uh, like a light bulb went in my head. I, th I think it was you. Uh, the moment they say the Trinity, the Trinity doesn't make sense, they prove that the the God of the Christians is, is the true God because they're they're claiming that uh, that their God is easy to understand. But in reality, the the real God is not easy to understand. He's outside of creation. So even when they what they they admit that the the Christians have the most inconceivable God there there is in all religions, which my, proves my, that we my have friend, the true my friend. God. The Muslim they don't even have a God. Okay, how you have a God, but you never spoke to your God. How you have a God, but you do not know who is your God. If you ask a Muslim what Allah means, they don't know. Everyone, he give you different answer. He will say to you, the creator. What the heck? I'm not asking you. I'm saying what the word Allah mean. The creator. No, 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 no. The creator is an Arabic word, mean al-khaliq. I can show it to him the Quran. So it is Allah is not a creator. The creator. Because if Allah is Allah mean as a word as a word mean the creator, and then you say Shahada, you say there's no creator but the creator, that's even more stupid. Yeah. When you say there's no God but God, that is even more stupid. You just said there's no God. Hundred percent. So how there's how no God and then but God? And then if the if the word Allah is the word mean God, then you should not say there's no God but Allah. You should say there's no Allah but Allah. Yeah. So they are confused about the name. They are confused about his nature. Okay, Allah have hands. Allah have a foot. Allah have a shin. Allah have a mouth. Allah have a body. Allah have a change his shape. What Allah is made of, nobody knows. Where is Allah? They do not know. Do Allah sit in the chair? Don't ask. Allah have a chair. So why he have a chair? You don't sit in it. You don't ask. You know. He put a shin there. He put a shin on the yeah. chair. Yeah. You know. Allah. <laughs> go and read any tafsir, any videos. There's Muslim videos. They says ask, don't ask. How? Where? Don't ask. But he have a chair. The second you say chair, there's a chapter in the Quran called the chair chapter. 
Really? So how it's called the chair, huh? And it's not. It's and he. And so why he have it? We have, and the Quran says he leveled himself according to the translation above the chair. Okay. So what does that mean? Level himself. He climbed. Don't ask. He said. Don't ask. <laughs> Do, is he standing? Because don't ask. You know. Exactly. Yes. All those verses in front of you, chapter seven, verse number fifty-four. Uh, chapter uh, 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 10 verse number 3 chapter 13 verse number 2 etc so what where is Allah Allah he did this and that and then he, he he established himself on the throne okay how he established himself do Allah have an ass do he sit you see we as a Christian we believe that God he came as a man his name is Jesus Christ yeah 100% Allah is he a man they will say no. Do we have can, a butt? They cannot answer because he have a body. Can we logically say that Allah is a girl because the, the Quran is feminine? It says the mother of book. So can I logically say that Allah no, is a No, actually the female? Quran confirmed that Allah is a male because the Quran keeps saying who Allah? He. It is he. Oh, okay. 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 Just because the, the Quran is, is uh, feminine though. because yeah, The Quran, from you, from yeah, you. but this is even this one will not match. Why? Because Muhammad in different place he said that the Quran will come as a failed, I uh, you know the word in English like shahib, you know he will come as a, like a dead man, uh, oh, okay. the, as a look. So he came, he will come as a man in the day of judgment. So how it is the mother of the books, yet he will come as a man. Maybe he is a, he will change his gender, but the Quran, <laughs> the Quran says uh, that Allah, he sit on a chair and he is a male, and you know uh, uh, and he have three daughters. The the the, the Arab believe. Well, how how the Arab they come to the teaching that Allah have three daughters? Where this is coming from? If the Muslim they have a God, which is the God of Abraham, how does God for the Arabian who do not believe obviously in the teaching of Abraham or any belief of Abraham, how they have a God? He have three daughters. They can't answer. How Muhammad he say that he sent Khalid ibn Walid to kill the daughter of Allah and he killed her. But because this is mean that Allah have a daughter if you killed her. <laughs> Go and search right now. Yeah. For the the the, the mission of Khadim al Walid, the expedition. Exp what do you call it in English? Is uh, it uh, exp you mean commentary explanation? No 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 no. Ex 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 expedition of uh, Khadim al Walid to kill a lot. Is it is it in Arabic or English? No, no you can find it in English too. The Muslim translate that. Uh, thank to them. So. They, they, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad, he ordered Khalid uh, to go know. and kill uh, the expedition. Let us see. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, expedition? Yeah. Of Khalid. Khalid bin Walid and alleged killing of Malik bin Nuraya? No, no, and uh, Alat, the daughter of Allah. Khalid. Maybe you can search it and you'll find it. Okay, what is he gonna kill? <laughs> the daughter of Allah. The daughter of Allah. <laughs> but is it is it they see her walking to the store or what? I don't know. No, no, there's a story, you know, she was there's a tree, uh, and you know. Uh let us see. Killing Killing the devil at the idol of Allah. So. so here you see the story. How in the world uh they don't believe in Allah. Or the daughters of Allah, uh, Al Uzza, sorry, not Allah, Al Uzza. He Al killed Al Uzza, you know. So, uh, how how in the world you don't believe uh, that those are exist? And then Muhammad he killed Al Uzza. You have it on the screen, or uh, I will, I will, I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. Uh, let us see. Uh, Salat ibn Wi telling the devil. It says. Killing the devil at the idol Al Azza, Tafsir ibn Kathir. Yeah, but this is not the devil. This is a female. What devil? It's a wow. female woman. She, you know, she have darker skin. She have a wild hair. Let us see. Let me see if I can find it. So maybe you found it before me. Dark skin, wild hair. What is she yeah. black too? I know they don't like black. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I found it here. Let's see. Okay. Um, let us see. This is part of the story. I did not find the whole story, but you can people can search. 
Now they know what we are looking for. So here it says, Khadim uh, Walid, killing the devil. This may be the one you found from Ibn Kathir, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's, I think the idol of Azza. Okay, how is an idol? You can kill the idol. Is idol is not someone is alive. They don't no. exist. Yeah. Okay. Here you will see that he killed a living woman. Killing a devil. There was a tree. Al Uzza was entered under three trees of the forest. In in Me in Mecca there is a forest. It looked like Mecca was in Brazil. And then Khalid he cut the tree trees and he approached those uh, uh, houses, built around it and destroyed it. When he went back, the prophet informed him for the prophet the story. The prophet said to him, "Go back, finish your mission, for you have not finished it." Khalid he went back, and when he uh, uh, like he get closer uh, yeah. there, he he saw uh, the servant of Al Uzza. Saw him, and they started invoking and calling Al Uzza. When Khalid he approached it, he found a naked woman, whose hair was. Uh, uh, untied and who was throwing sands on her head Khalid he killed her with the sword when he came back to the Prophet the Prophet he says this is Al Uzza <laughs> huh. so how you don't believe how they don't believe that Al Uzza is a true daughter of Allah and then Muhammad he killed Al Uzza uh, okay you know what I mean yeah. can yeah. you kill can you kill something is not exist uh, maybe in Islam, but I guess not anymore. <laughs> yeah. so, just said, just so, said, yeah. so the story is actually, let me see if I can find uh, the whole story. Uh, I want to find the, the whole story because this is the, the website here. It shows just a little part of the story. Uh, maybe here. Yeah. When you see. get it, after, after this, I want to tell you a funny story and then maybe you can tell me uh, the reason behind it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, <clears throat> so I have a... So I, I'm from Iraq, but uh, I, I know I know a couple of Shia guys, and uh, every time I see the Shia guy, he's an older fellow, and I say hi to him. I just I don't mean anything. I just want to say hi to him. When he's with his wife, he runs to me, so I don't get near his wife. At first, I didn't realize it, so I'm talking to him. Hi, how are you doing? But every time I see him with his wife, I say hi. He doesn't like he doesn't let me go close to his wife, and I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? Does he think I'm gonna steal his wife or something? He doesn't let me get close to his wife. Is that like a Shia thing? Maybe he thinks I'm nudging. No, all, all Muslims are. They have a feeling of insecure. You know, he yeah. he he fear that your, the wife she would do something, and they don't trust their women. You know. So if mm -hmm. she gets closer and closer to you, she might give you her phone number. Yeah, she exactly. might <laughs> she might uh, put something in your pocket, you know, to tell you something. Call oh, me later, you know. So because yeah. they are they, because they are insecure, this is the truth. Because they are insecure, so he have to guard her side. So if you move to the other side, he will move too, you know, because uh, he don't trust oh, his wife. You, oh man, that's funny. I'm, I'm telling you, every time I see this guy, he doesn't let me get. Yeah. I don't. I don't care about his wife. I just know it. I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah, most they don't. Get... They don't trust their women because, and the men, the women, they don't trust their men too. I mean, this is the same. Both. It's a. The, the Muhammad he says a man he can lie to his wife and the wife she can lie to her husband. So how how you can have a trust in such a atmosphere? You know, uh, actually, I I found here Ibn Kathir. I I went to Ibn Kathir, the official uh, English website. But I don't know if Ibn Kathir he showed the story of a lad in details in the translation in Arabic. Yes, let us see. So here we go. Uh, have you considered a lad? A lad was a white stone inscribed, etc. And then, okay. Uh, let us see the story. Here we go. The story of Khalid sent by the Prophet of Allah to kill Al Uzza. So Khalid he, he, uh, he uh, went to the era of An Nakhla. Or the area, uh, Nakhla is a palm tree, where oh, okay. the idol was uh, uh, of Al Uzza uh, was created. Three trees of uh, of a forest. Have you ever heard of a forest of three trees? Anyway, Khalid yeah. he cut the, cut the trees and approached the house, built around those uh, trees, and he destroyed them. He went back and he informed the Prophet of Allah about what he did. The Prophet he said to him, "Go back. You did not finish your mission." Khalid, he went back, and when he uh, get closer, he found the servants of the Al-Uzza, and he, they start invoking by calling Al-Uzza. So then he found a naked woman whose hair was unt uh, uh, un untied, and who was showing uh, throwing sands in her head, and etc. Khalid, he killed her 
with the sword and he went back to the Messenger of Allah. What the Messenger of Allah he says? That is Al Uzza. Tilk Al Uzza. This is that was Al Uzza. So Muhammad he confirmed that this is the Uzza. Huh. How they say it is an idol, how they say it is not exist, how they say it is false, how they say Allah doesn't have daughter, and then you say, Well, this is Al Uzza. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely save this one. <laughs> and this is, you know, and you can, you know, this is the chapter of uh, the book of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, yeah. and uh, uh, chapter fifty-three, verse number ninety-six. Okay, if you can, uh, maybe just put it in the yeah. In the well, well, this website here does not really give a link. I don't know if I can create a link for this, but I will give you the main, the main link. You you have to go. Click at the uh, at the chapter number, choose it, and then cho it shows. You see, as you see, it shows uh, just three. tafsir. You know, you have to click it. Open tafsir only. So yes. go there, click at the chapter fifty three. Here, yes. choose fifty three, and then you go to the right of the page and you choose nineteen to twenty six. It's nineteen. We would we would want, but mm -hmm. here it shows you from nineteen to twenty six, and you go down in the page. You will see it. I I, I just pulled it up right now. Awesome. Yeah. So how they say, how stupid this religion is. Imagine I say to you, uh, let's, let's say I am an atheist. And then I yeah. say there's no God. And then I say to you, I saw three trees. It's a forest made of three trees, which is very weird. I mean, what the heck of this forest, how big it is. And then I saw the God and I killed him there. You just say there's no God. Yeah, it's backwards thinking. Like, so pick, pick a if, side. If there, is, if there is no God, how you can kill the God? Exactly. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. If there is no Uzza, how we killed the Uzza? Yeah. And, and then you need to ask yourself here more questions. Why Muhammad killing the daughter of Allah if he agreed that the Uzza is exist? Yeah. So he's obviously he he's obviously still has his pagan traditions, right? You know when people they leave they leave like a culture. He, he never he's left. Like, he never left his paganism. You know, Muhammad, he tried in the beginning to change his direction of everything so that Christians and the Jews will accept him. So he stopped praying in the direction of Jerusalem, correct? Yeah, I heard from you. Yeah. When the Jews I... refused to, to pray with him, to accept him, to be worshiping the same God, uh, Muhammad, he says, if only 10 Jews believe in me, the whole Jews will believe. So he could not even make 10 Jews believe. Just even 10. He could not make them believe. That's so nothing, small number. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, even the fake ones now, like today, they, they have more than 10. They I know, Muhammad. you see, exactly. How come Muhammad in his time could not make 10 Jews believe? And now there's Jews, there's some Jews, they convert to Islam. Maybe there's, I don't know, maybe a year will be, you find one or two, maybe. Uh, but how in the world uh, he was praying toward Jerusalem and then Allah, he said to him, I see that you are turning your face around. We are going to give you a new direction to pray, a, a direction which is pleasing you. And then he said to him, pray in the direction of the Kaaba. So did they well, lie? Did they lie? It says amongst their chiefs, like their leaders. Is that, is that real? No, yeah, it's a lie. It says here, just in Jews. This is false. You see this uh -huh. uh, actually even translation. It's, it's between two bracket, right? Yeah. So the hadith doesn't say that. The hadith says yeah. 10 Jews, if only 10 Jews. Nowhere it says 10 rabbis or, you know, 10 Jews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is repeated yeah. many places, you know. If there is only 10 Jews here, you see here the translation is more accurate. Ah, there are 10 scholars, if 10 scholars. But nowhere in Arabic it says scholars, they add things. That's why I say, if you don't speak Arabic, they can fool you, they can lie to you. You, you know Arabic, right? Uh, no, I speak. I speak a mixed a mixed language. Ah, okay. Different. You see, mixed. if you know Arabic, they will not even let you talk with them. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen. The, I've seen. For because you, they not they notice they notice you say that. You know, you 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 they, they notice that you speak Arabic. They are in trouble. Uh, yeah, nobody. Uh, like nobody. Like everybody wants to debate the other guys, but nobody gets close to you. So I've 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 noticed. Because, yeah, and uh, you know, ask always yourself. The one who says anyone is welcome to call me. And the one who says, I will debate only face to face with this guy. Obviously, they are making excuse. 
yeah, what's, what's what like, they're gonna now, they're gonna put on the internet anyways. Yeah, no, yeah, we are. He is on internet. I'm internet. So what is the what what is the face to face thing? And now you call me. If you have answers, which is going to get me busted, people will hear it. Exactly. You so know, what, even what is the point? And if I, if I if like we made a challenge, like this guy supposed to, he's a big guy. So if I hang up on him and I run away, that will be embarrassing for me. For you, yeah. If you do it, yeah. Yeah, because if I do it, that's mean I'm running away from him. You know. Yeah. I I hang up on kids. You know, I I say they they keep saying you know they they speak over me. They don't want to let me talk. And you know, okay, I, uh, they'll start doing bully. So. I hang up on him, but I, mean, I never, I never hang up on someone. He claimed to be a sheikh. Oh yeah, for sure. I've seen those videos. Yeah, you I know. never you... hang up in somebody. He knows what he is talking about, and I never hang up in somebody. Speak serious. You give him a good like hour though. Like me, I'm lucky yeah. if I get like three minutes. And me, even I, if I, I hang up on them, that's after like what you know, like long hour, conversation. Yeah. Like uh, we are, we are reached the point. There is no point. That's it. You know. It, it, exactly yeah but yeah. like your, your books like i, I read i read like a ha maybe a little bit of your book like it's it's very damaging to islam like i was laughing i remember one thing in your book it says uh muhammad said sell me your land and i'll 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 make you a reservation in heaven it's okay just give me your land i want your land i'll, I'll get you yeah i'm like what is this garbage this guy this guy's buying real estate and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna give him a spot in heaven it's a good business something. you know imagine i convinced you now to give me your money in the bank because i will give you 10 times more in heaven <laughs> It's your your it's, book. Your book is damaging. It's a it's a great business, you know. If you can convince people to do that, you know, like just give me your money now, I will pay you in heaven, brother. You know, ten time more, ten time, when, when, ten a, time. a million time, brother. Every dollar you give me now, I will give you a million dollar in heaven. <laughs> exactly. But you you remember which one though? The one I think. Yeah, yeah. The story was... about I think this is you are, you are, uh, There's many stories there, but I think you're st speaking about the the uh, the field of Abu Dahdah. Something like that. Yeah, it was funny. I'm like, what is? I'm like, who believes in this guy? I'm like, give me some real estate. I'll give you some heaven. We we make a trade. Like, what yeah. is? <laughs> it's it's yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. I will give you uh, a corner lot. Exactly. In the heaven, uh, you know. Uh, sorry, man. I don't want to. I don't want to waste your yeah. time. I, before I forget, you mentioned something important last time that made me think. Uh, you, remember the name Isa, and you, you said Muhammad got it mixed up. Isa. Isa, yeah. So, uh, in Aramaic, we we say Isa. Right, so I'm thinking maybe he got those two names mixed up: Esau for Jesus and Isa for for the the one in the Old Testament. Well, uh, it's possible, but you see, let us say he messed up with the name, with the Aramaic pronunciation, which is not even not the same. Uh, like in Arabic, we say Yeshua, right? Yeah, yeah. 100%. So, Isa uh, 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 is totally far. Secondly, this Isa is the son of Maryam. And Maryam is the sister of Aaron, and here and the grandfather is Amran. How we can fix this problem? So Amran is the same father of Moses. Yeah. Maryam is the sister of Aaron, the daughter of Amran. So if Muhammad he got the name wrong of Isa as Isa. How he yeah. got the sister of uh, that Mary is the sister of Aaron, and how he made the father of Aaron the father of Mary. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I don't know if the Muslims. Well, what asked. happened? What happened? That in the Old Testament, Maryam is exist. She is a real woman. She is the sister of Aaron, the sister of Moses, yeah. and uh, uh, I believe that some of the Jews. This is not from the Bible. They believe that Maryam, she have a son. His oh. name is Isa. So, oh. so the stupid Muhammad, he look at it, okay, Isa, the son of Maryam. Maryam is the sister of Aaron. So Maryam is the, you know, Isa is the, is, the, is, the, is the nephew of Moses. And this is why here you see in the Quran, the holy chapter here is called the chapter of Ali Amran. When you see the name, you think, oh, this is talking about Moses. And by the way, even Amran is wrong because in the Bible it's Amram, M, not N. So this guy is deaf. He did not know what the Jews is saying. And maybe uh -huh. because the Jews are speaking in their Hebrew, so he did not get the name right. It yeah. is Amram, not Amran. So oh, Amram, suddenly he become the father of, of Mary. And uh, he, you know, uh, his wife, she gave birth to her. 
uh, and he mentioned even Zechariah and he mentioned uh, John the Baptist which is Yahya which is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud why you know uh, uh, if you ask a Muslim why we cannot find uh, the Quran us using the word Yahweh this is what God he said to Moses when he met him right yeah 100%. who are you Yahweh okay why we cannot find in the Quran the word Yahweh they say to you because the, the Bible is corrupted and this is a fake pagan God you know you changed Obviously. yeah you changed but then when you see Zechariah Zechariah is part of the name of Yahweh the same as Yahya you know yeah so, yeah, sure. so Muhammad because he is a stupid he copied the names but he do not know what the names meant as usual the same as Didat was he was making fun of Israel if you watch the video of Didat huh, your book your book says that Jacob he was fighting with God struggling with God wrestling with God who want to believe in that yeah but then his Quran says Israel the second you accept the name you accepted the story because Jacob his name is Jacob how he become Israel yeah you're a smart guy way I didn't I didn't realize that until I heard you say it I'm like this guy this, yeah. I'm like I'm, I'm happy we have Christian friends so <laughs> so so you know the Muslims are people who they laugh at you but in fact they are laughing at their own religion they forgot that Islam is a counterfeit of other people books the same as did that he was making fun of the Bible says that God created the Sun in the fourth day how that can happen the earth was without light but the fact the Bible says God he said from the beginning let be light and light was and then we go we find that Muhammad copying exactly word by word and he says he adds some of you know some uh, some shrimp and some spice as usual uh, uh, so he says that Allah he created the Sun the light actually in Wednesday the same thing the that was laughing at is the same thing Muhammad he said and this is Sahih Muslim which is Sahih the video of the that is there so when the Muslim like today even the guy the reason we are here we were talking about how Eve she was and the women they were supposed to be punished right for for the sin of Eve so he was asking why why women are punished then we open his books and we find that his God he he believed that the reason for everything wrong is women because of Eve so they laugh at you because of their ignorance or they are assuming that you do not know so they can play with you but if the second you know what is in their books you get their laundry and you put them in their face yeah 100 percent. I, I started to save your work you know like uh, because i'm really sick of these like you, you know why i started calling it's funny the only reason i started calling was because i started to look at the guys that were doing a terrible job and i get frustrated man so it forces me to call you know just like you said you said you don't want to do this job it's a stupid job but nobody's doing it so you have to do it yeah you, you know, know study more get reference ready when you want to speak about something have it handy and uh, because they will not give you time they will hang up on you you know they will not let you talk the second they notice that they are not making good of the conversation you know uh, doesn't serve their their business they will hang 100%, up on you 100 yeah. percent, man all right but, my uh, friend. Yeah, i learned a lot from you man thanks you're welcome thank you for calling have a good day you too um